it says men are not obsessed with women like they used to be y'all don't find that kind of weird and to be honest no i don't find that kind of weird because what exactly is there for men to be obsessed with in today's world women have left no room for imagination none whatsoever it's like your sense of entitlement is out of control your expectations are unrealistic y'all walk around showing your bodies half dressed half exposed 24 7 out smoking drinking partying 24 7 on the scene 24 7 a lot of y'all are not even coming with nothing to the table because you're too busy with your hand out trying to see what man got the next bag so he can sponsor your lifestyle to make you look like you're living a lifestyle to post on the internet it's like a lot of y'all don't have common sense a lot of y'all don't know how to hold a conversation a lot of y'all don't have no original about yourselves everybody is getting the same body everybody is getting the same hairstyle everybody looks the exact same and it's like y'all get that confused oh well men like that no men will fuck that but men are not wiping that and they're not cuffing that and i think y'all are starting to realize that and then the first thing y'all want to say is oh well they're gay they're sassy no they're not they're just tired of what you guys are presenting and if y'all are here to give them free pussy, free looks, and free everything they ain't got to work for, uh, why would they? But they're never going to take you serious. So it seems to me like a lot of y'all are now starting to realize that you're either losing value or have lost value from chasing attention. And now that's something that y'all got to deal with and y'all can't face that fact. Men love women that are exclusive. Women that are put up. But there's a stat on Facebook and basically... Factual, factual. That is a woman... A showing saying that y'all basically shot yourself in the pussy yeah. dino nuggies said my parents divorced does i'm guessing will that affect my relationship it definitely can um Ray, i'm that, gonna let you take that one go ahead all right so there are studies that show that um individuals that come from a um, broken household that was you know uh, due to divorce um they have a more likelihood of suffering divorce um in their own marriages why do you think that is Oh, I think it's just it's just the fact that they witness uh witness a breakup, man. And I think um a lot of times, um, just from what I've read, uh children of divorce, they internalize um divorce. And sometimes, you know, um uh, unfairly to themselves, they blame themselves um uh, for the you know the cause of the divorce, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. And I think a lot of times when you uh talk about a child or an individual that grew up in a household and now that household is not being split. I think the divorce is always in the back of their mind. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Kind of like a like a trauma, like, like you know, not a trauma bond, but just just that trauma is always in the back of their mind. And I think, you know, for some people, they try so hard not to mess up in relationships that they end up doing the very thing that they say they weren't trying to do, which is messed up. Yeah. Do you think uh basically you 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 get what you see? Oh, for sure. You get what you're saying? And I think a lot of that is is how a lot of people see or end up in their relationship. They they getting exactly what they saw. You know, parents fighting, you think it's okay, you know, the, the to to beat on your woman because you saw your dad to beat your mama. Uh you thought it's okay to stay with your your woman because your mama was out on your dad, and your dad to try to make it work for the kids and keep that family unit together. He didn't want to be judged out there in society for uh big getting divorced. You know what I'm saying? Like I said, you 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 get what you see what you think chris uh divorce uh with his to his question yeah definitely because a lot of these divorces are on bullshit premises they're not anything that they can explain in the child or, or whoever the, let's say the child still teenage teenage years they really won't understand why they're getting divorced yeah. So they're gonna try to explain it to make it sound like it's good some good shit. We're still gonna be a family, we're just gonna be in separate houses. Uh mama cheated or daddy cheated and she broke my trust. He gonna see that contention in the house anyway. Mm -hmm. And what I, what it also exposes is the process. So when a woman see a process, let's look at from from the little girls, they see a process happen, they like, oh, that's all it takes. I can I can do that because I didn't been exposed to the process, just like the BBL. So, girl, what they do when you go down there? Do they do this? They take your blood sample. They do this. They cut some tissue out and they stick this in. They do this. So they seeing this and they like, okay, it ain't that bad. I'm gonna go ahead and do it because I didn't been exposed to the process. Uh -huh. So you think if people aren't exposed to divorce as much as we are just exposed to divorce, you think a lot less people would get divorced? Yeah, because so if you look at the divorce statistics, it's a it's a it's a steady trend upward mm -hmm. since the 60s. 
It's yeah. a steady trend. You had at one point 80, yeah, 85 percent of the America was married. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Kids. Now you're talking 55% divorce rate. You got a one in 24, or one in what? One out of one out of four women to get married. Black, Black women. women. Black women. And that's gonna increase to one out of six in the next two years. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And then and so on. So you've been seeing this constant increase. So what's happening? Well, you you're being taught how to date, which is divorce practice. Yeah. You look at the chicks. So how many dudes you been with? How many boyfriends you had? Four. And how many of them you broke up with? I think they was just equal. Nah, it ain't no, it ain't no mutual, and there ain't no such thing as a mutual breakup. You like oh, this relationship over with? I mean, you left. One, I left because it just wasn't working. One time, I cheated. That's that's you leaving. You leave, yeah. And then I mean, you know, that's it out of the four. And then the other two, they the other two, I got cheated on. Okay, and you still left. I mean, yeah. So you left all your relationships. So no. you didn't practice divorce. No, no, I didn't leave because they cheated on me. Because I, I mean, I would have stayed. They, they chose the other person. But when you break up with a man, you that's a divorce I scrimmage. Didn't, I didn't, I didn't. A divorce break up with scrimmage. That's, that's, that's a divorce scrimmage me. game. That's a divorce they, scrimmage. They, so. they, they broke up with me, and karma got their ass back. If you I broke up, if you broke up with a guy, that's a divorce scrimmage game. I mean, I'm supposed to stay. I'm not saying you, I'm just saying this is what happens when you go through it. Basically, up. he's saying you're practicing. If you divorce, consistently breaking up with nigga, when you finally get married, you not probably you're about more, eight times out of ten, you're gonna, gonna get a divorce. Because so, you used to breaking up with niggas. I yeah. mean, <laughs> out of the four relationships I've been in, two I broke up, two I got broken up with. So But it don't matter who did it if you if it, there's been a split or a breakup. So we're supposed or, to stay. But take no, the, no, we're, we're not, not saying we're not saying, we're not saying that saying you're supposed to stay. We're, we're saying you so used to breaking y'all. Breaking up, goddamn. The voice ain't gonna get, be a hassle. Yeah, when you get married, you're like, oh shit, I'm just. Only thing, up, only thing I got to do married. different is do the paperwork and move my shit out. Yeah, but I'm gonna break up with your ass the same way I did in high school. You know what's crazy when we talk about like divorce and splitting? How you can be with somebody so long, and it seems as if a person wakes up one day and just emotionally detach from you. That's crazy, bro. That is the craziest, <laughs> scariest <laughs> shit uh, ever. And I say this, I say the most heartless thing a person can do is leave you with all these feelings that you care for them. Like, what? God damn, like, bitch, I really love you. I'm really here. And you hoping that they feel the same way about you. You hoping that they got the longevity that you have. You're hoping that they're in it for this family unit, this 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 last name that y'all trying to build, this legacy that y'all trying to build. You're <laughs> hoping for this. And now all of a sudden, somebody just wake up one day and like, fuck it, I gotta go. It's a it's an art to maintaining that relationship and maintaining that fire. Like, I look at some of my, I'm like, well, we've been, we started off hot, ended hot. It just ended, you know, Whatever, Cam, yeah, bullshit. But the the intimacy was high from start from day one to one hundred and eighty. Mm. You see what I'm saying? So if a a woman start tweaking them wants and needs as she get older, so the dude starts shipping his folks. Okay, she want to be in. She want the G. She want the GLE. I'm gonna have to work an extra job, or I'm gonna have to. So what that's gonna do is slack off on my gym. My body gonna get. I'm gonna be eating and moving a little different. So I'm gonna pick up a little weight. Yeah. She gonna be looking at me gaining this weight or whatever. May lose a little bit of attraction, but she got that GLE that she says she may want. Okay, all right. Let me get back on my grind. But well, she want to go to goddamn. She want to go to the Maldives for Valentine's Day, seven thousand dollars trip. Ah, uh, oh, damn. You want to go to the Maldives? Oh shit. Okay. <laughs> and you, te- and you telling me December nineteenth? You want to go months, to the Maldives on Valentine's Day? Right. So I got a goddamn bus thirty five hundred in a week, and then another, and we still got to get there and kick. Yep. So you shifting your wants and needs, and now the guy he adjusting because like damn, because he trying to keep you happy, mm. but you got him on a treadmill of unhappiness. Because you every time you look up, you want something new, because you ain't attracted to him no more. You looking for something, a trinket or something. That you can brag about and show off. Well, I'm, I, I'm happy because keep your I'm happy because I got this. No, this man he doing whatever he 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 run he lose he find a losing battle. Yeah, Curse Greg Adams said this all the time on his show. He was like, once you hear a woman say, "I'm not happy," stop the clock. It's over. 
Get out of there. It's not the clock. <laughs> Get out. <laughs> Y'all are never happy after a certain level of accomplishment because you ain't doing that with your guy like what y'all putting together like you just sitting up like getting old you can only go out to eat and out of town so much right that's why you got to build some shit you got to put something together like a lot of women just want to be kept nowadays look like that's the rhetoric that's the narrative they want they want to be courted you want to be courted and kept but you didn't fuck little man man over there this married right. nigga you think we don't know about or sugar dad over here you think we don't know about like but, but you still want a horse and care little uh, situation d two situationships in four months like we know about all that shit. these do this, you ain't went on one date with any of these guys now all of a sudden you don't eat cheese k fake <laughs> these niggas bring you crystals right. bring you a crystal sack fool come on y'all gotta play that game another way mm. She just well, said, the that was a lot. That was a lot. <laughs> you know, my, sorry for my rent. It wasn't a rent. It's just a lot. It's, this, it's this, a this, lot. It's the reality. I mean, though. yeah. And, that, and 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 the thing about it is, just like we don't we don't tell y'all this to make y'all feel bad. You know what I'm saying? It's no. just, it just it just it just us wanting to you know pass along information because we want y'all to understand us better. It, it sometimes feels like at times, and I'm speaking in feels. Um, it comes off at times that women will hear this information and quickly detest it. Like, oh, that that can't be true. That can't be true. And it's like, sis, like we ain't, we ain't just telling us all that all that. Hey, it's like this is lived experiences. You know what I'm saying? This is conversations that we have all the time. You know, you just have to just be willing to just be like, you know what? Okay, all right. I mean, I like it, but you know, I can I can receive what y'all saying. You know, if I tell you, if you tell me you want this out of guy, and I say no, you don't. You want that. You gonna look at me like a damn fool, ain't you? Mm -hmm. If you tell me you want this and that and that, and I'm like, no, you don't, girl. You want this. That's how y'all sound telling the man, can we not fuck in the five days or sit down? You don't need to do that. You can't just have me. Uh, no. Or at least we don't want. No, I just it just give, it's just giving off <laughs> it's just giving off contradictions. Like it's very contradictory. It's a double standard with it's men so, and women. I know, and it's, but it's, that's something oh, that's going to exist on exactly. many different and that's levels. Why I but said you know it's a contradiction because a woman has given me and that, and they still look for more. So it's like it's no pleasing y'all. But it is. Y'all want your cake. Y'all want to eat. Exactly. It's 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 across the board. But women get more of the slack. We are the bad guys. Jeez. Because y'all do it un on a vindictive level and niggas don't no, no. we don't revenge so you. so when <coughs> y'all have the perfect wife at home y'all the granddaddies had the wife at home but they still chose to cheat what was it's I nothing, want, I want, no i want it's to nothing that you logic. did or didn't do that okay so that, what what, what that makes included. it make sense but if you cheat it's, it some, okay. it's something that i didn't do or did if you cheat but if we do it it ain't nothing you did or didn't so do why it. is there a need to do it because we're different it's why? like it's like taking no. a piss Okay, I get it. It's like taking a piss, but why? What, what's the point? I think of I think this this is this, if this I is the thing. Piss, I think this is the thing. The conversation that needs to be had. It some is. things, some things that we, that yeah, men and women that men and women do ain't for us to understand. So My I dad, should just be okay with. I didn't say you should you be okay. I, no, no, no. Hold on, hold on. Yeah. I didn't say you should be okay with it. Yeah, I should. said there are things that men and women just aren't going to understand about each other. I right. always say this, men and women is like oil and it water is, very much. trying to mix. And that's why we have a lot of issues because we one's trying to understand the other and you can't wrap your brain around it. You a lot of stuff when it comes to uh us dating, it should just it just is. It just is. It just is. Uh, okay. Not saying you gotta accept it, it's just what it is. This is what when you date a man, this is you know typically what you're gonna sign up. When you date a woman, this is typically what you're gonna sign up. Let's say, for instance, like your period, right? Every woman is not gonna be moody, bitchy, crampy, all of this, and make it difficult during that time of the month. But we can say, I would say for my experience, most of the women that I have dated has been that. Now it might be a I might look up and meet a woman that does not give me that, but for the most part, that's what's going what I'm gonna get. Same thing. That's why us as men, when we had these conversations with y'all talking about, hey, why would you leave a man because he cheated and go get in another relationship with another man and think he's gonna be faithful? Because most men are going to cheat. 
That's that's why that's why we say that makes no logical sense to leave something when we can boil it down to most people or most men are gonna do this, most women are gonna do this. And women, I don't know why y'all hate or y'all fight generalization so much, but that's why that y'all we all do. It's a when, fight, it's a, it's when, a, it's a need to be unique. <clears throat> but most women aren't unique without no uniqueness. Bingo. Most women are unique. That's why that lady said, y'all got the same bodies. Y'all got the same attitude. Y'all putting the same hair on y'all head. Y'all putting the same lashes. Y'all wearing the same clothes. Like, it's no uniqueness. Like, with, with niggas, with, uh, and, and, and this is the thing. With men, we can find so much variety and so much vastness when it comes to men. That is ridiculous. Like you got a tech, you got like you have sectors, and those is because of men. Like you have a tech sector. That's a man. You have you know people that come do law. You have and the, and those men are those just from you doing law and doing tech. It's gonna be two totally different men, two totally different ideologies, two totally different ways these men think. But with women, you can have a woman that's a lawyer, and you can have a woman that's in tech, and both of y'all gonna act the same. That I'm gonna give, give an example. When me and Chris were just when we were just coming in, and he was spraying the cologne, I was like, "Shit, hold on, goddamn, I need to hit some too, goddamn." I went to the car, spraying my cologne. He, I came back. He said, "Shit, you trying to hit dick cologne?" I was like, "Come on, bro, you know I can't. We can't smell the smell same. We can't go in, <laughs> go in the room smelling the same. That's just what it is. You know what I'm saying? No disrespect to his cologne, no disrespect to him, but as a man, I can't smell like another man." <laughs> yeah. that, could, 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 that will, get what they're gonna tell the female oh y'all nigga shane cologne man right but the first thing she gonna think then they gonna go back to tlc i don't want no scrub now she exactly. gotta figure oh, out yeah. who, who driving cologne. on the passenger side right. now exactly. <laughs> right. so I said, we can't go in the room smelling the same Come on, but see <laughs> these these are the type of conversations that we're having now that i don't think our parents are really brave can. enough to have with us and I think a lot of our parents are cowardly, especially the fathers, mm -hmm. especially when it comes to that father daughter relationship. Because uh, let's be real, a lot of men don't want to think about their daughter fucking. Oh, no. That's a big A lot of men don't want to think about their daughter fucking. And uh, it kind of gives them the idea of them being like, I guess, maybe feeling creepy, feeling uneasy. You know, you want to protect your daughter, but you got to be real with your daughter. You know, your daughter, you, you know how you was fucking. Somebody else's daughter. Why would you right. think somebody ain't gonna fuck you on? Yeah, or potentially. You Why? Know. Like that's that's weird. So you need to what you need to do is sit your daughter down and talk to her enough and instill in her enough at a younger age what men are, the types of men you're going to encounter, and what you're more than likely going to encounter. If you find your dude, that's why I'm the way I am. Because me and my daddy done had conversations. My daddy was whole before he got saved. So I I, I understand on that tip where you say you got to have conversations with your daughters. Mm -hmm. Some of these girls don't got daughters. So so they if you're if you if you find if your dad was a whore like you say then why is it so far fetched if you know this the man that you I don't want I don't want a man like my daddy. And that's the thing. Females but hold on, hold on. Like you daddy. don't you a lot of females do and you trying to run from your daddy because of stuff you've seen but actually you got uh an insight on what men are actually like. I mean, you I actually, you actually got the game where I've been around women, and it was like, oh, my dad did not like that. My dad is, doesn't say anything. My dad doesn't talk about sex. My daddy does absolutely nothing around us. But if you said, hey, my daddy was a hoe, you actually got the real game on what men are like instead of those other women that say, I want a man like my dad. The reason they want a man like their daddy typically. They don't know their daddy. Correct. Oh. They don't know what their daddy is, and that's why I, I'm like firm on I don't. I, I can't deal with a man that's just okay with having me as a wife and cheating and thinking that's okay. If you want to do that, then be single. Don't drag me with but you. But you gonna be single? Huh? You gonna be single or you gonna get another dude? No, I mean, me personally, I don't see myself getting married. I don't. But you're gonna be in a, you're gonna try a relationship before. I, I, I me in relationship. But you're gonna deal with none. a man in some capacity. Yeah, I'll deal with you, but it's probably. As much as a man deal with a so female. if he cheat for what I want, if he cheat don't from your so case. you don't have a fuck buddy basically, yeah, well, more so than that. Okay, but if you got the fuck buddy and he got another one, it's the same concept almost. You just ain't go through the formalities. You still fuck with another bitch. That's fine. So how is it fine on that end? But if you're saying you want to marry end. me, you should. You're saying you want 
me. So Ty, but I'm getting, want, so Ty, no, but I'm getting the pussy though. Really. No, it don't define it. But you saying you want me and you don't want nobody else. If you wanted them other body else's, you don't need. Me. But if I marry you, and I don't marry you, I'm still getting the pussy on both sides of that coin. Because everybody has needs and they have wants. I okay, but if I'm getting it for free, and it ain't no problem me fucking with another bitch. If I marry you, how you gonna have contention with me? For, like, I've been fucking other bitches. I've been fucking other niggas. But so, if I marry you and I do that still, how is? What's the point of being married if you still gonna do that? But what if I want to be married? Though? I, I'm gonna do you say this: you, Do you think you act like the wife before you get married or after? Before. Um, I probably before. before. So if you ain't, if I'm fucking the bitches on the side and you know this and cool with it. You did not already laid the foundation of what the next step going to be. If we take it further. <laughs> I think sometimes women, like when they think about like the whole inf like infidelity conversation, they look at it as a, as a, as a mark against them. But really, you know, truth be told, man, like, like we've been saying, like you actually are getting, you know what I'm saying? Relief. You know what I'm saying? Then on top of that, too, you're getting more than the other woman. He didn't pop is the blue it relief chew? if oh. I want to do the same thing? You can't it, do what I do. Exactly. It's not a relief. I, we we say it's I, not. I, well, we, I'm, we my, saying, this is my question. Well, I'm confused. That why do you want to do it? That's what. That's, that's what I mean. Dollar that's the, what. Why do you want to do what I do? Right. Why do you want? Why don't? Why don't you want to separate yourself as a woman? Why don't you want to ch be chast as a woman? Why you want to get ran through? The yeah, way why I'm do you want to get you ran through? Why you want to run through somebody? Because I'd rather Cause run it's through. A, is it Nate? Is it my nature? Is what I want to do? It's because you've, <laughs> I'm you... Gonna gonna, finger, you gonna, I'm going to do the finger pose. The finger question. Did I ask you the finger question? No, nah, I don't think you asked her the finger question. You got a finger right. 